Bollworms are one of the most important insect pests of cotton in the southeastern U.S., and that's no exception here in North Carolina. The best way to manage bollworms is to be on top of scouting at least every week. Now we have two different types of scouting procedures. One is for our older varieties, things like Bollgard 2, Twin Link, and Wide Strike. We recommend scouting based on eggs. Bollworms actually preferentially lay eggs near where blooms are in the canopy, but they will lay eggs all throughout the canopy. It's important that you don't, don't just focus on sampling eggs from one tissue type. You need to check leaves, you need to check terminals, check the bracts of squares and the bracts of bowls. These are favorite places for bollworms to lay eggs on. The second type of bollworm scouting involves searching the canopy for damaged bowls. It's important that you don't just focus on one bowl type. Check small bowls for smaller instar larvae, larger bowls for larger instar larvae. Check down in the canopy of the plant and look on different nodes and positions to see if you see any sort of damaged bowls. One way that you can check to see that BT cotton is working, especially in our newer varieties, things like Bullguard 3, Twin Link Plus, and Wide Strike 3, is to look for signs of superficial feeding. This is an indication that BT cotton's done its job. The, the insect has to ingest some of the tissue, allow the toxin to enter its gut in order to kill the insect. So a little feeding is good. Anytime you see a hole in a square or a bowl, even something the size of a pinprick, it's a very good sign that the bollworms overcome the BT cotton and that damaged tissue may have size. So our damage bowl threshold for these varieties is 4% damage bowls.